While American dock workers are pushing for better pay, farmers in Thailand are benefiting from a government scheme to guarantee them the same price for their rice crop. But the policy is getting mixed reviews. CCTV's Tony Chang joins us live from Bangkok. Thanks very much. Yes, this has been the big uh, economic policy of the Thai government this year. It started uh, being talked about at the end of last year because rice farmers have had a very tough time in the last couple of years. First, they were hit by two years of drought. Then last year, of course, the devastating floods. Uh, they make up the bulk of uh, uh, of this government's support. It's thought the rural poor, particularly those in the northeast of Thailand, and when the government came into power, they wanted to do something to help. Uh, at the time, however, rice exporters were very opposed to the scheme. They said this could upset uh, a very important export trade for Thailand by playing with the price and that it would lose the government, ultimately, a lot of money. So after 12 months, we went out a couple of days ago into the rice fields to see how things were working out for those rice farmers. A rice harvester rips through a paddy in central Thailand. This is the third harvest of the year in these fertile fields. With the government guaranteeing rice prices, it's a race to produce as much as possible. Other farmers are not faring so well, however. Supata and her husband won't harvest until February this year, and they're not sure what price they'll get for their crop. They say the rice price is far from guaranteed, varying from $500 to just $300 per tonne over this year. Different farmers are getting different prices too, she says, and there's little transparency in the scheme. The policy would be good if the government was clear about the guaranteed price of rice, as well as being clear about the dates and months when the farmers should bring their rice in. But many in the rice industry are doing well. This rice collection center had just been built because the granaries are now too full to take in the new crop. Trucks arriving regularly to leave their yield. The owner told me things had never been better, clearly true from the rings on his fingers, but he knew the good times would only last for another season or so. It's very simple. If you buy the rice, you store it and don't sell it, how are you going to make any money? And the evidence is mounting up. All over Thailand, huge mountains of rice are collecting in government warehouses. Transport costs, storage costs, natural waste, it's pushing the already artificially high price even higher. And footing the bill is the Thai government. And Thailand, until recently the largest exporter of rice in the world, could well have placed one of its core industries in peril. We used to be the number one or the, the major exporter at the first, but now we are number three. And the market share in quantity terms and in the, the, the world value, value term is going down. So far, the Thai government has rejected criticism of the rice subsidy scheme. But as the rice granaries fill up and the overseas market moves away, they may have to admit there's no smoke without fire.